Today let's talk about migration, which doesn't need visa. Even though humans are included in Kingdom Animalia, we don't accept migration without visa. We humans, created boundaries and borders to one earth we all belong to. Although we are still not sure about how animals know where to go, and when to leave, especially when they have never made that journey before. Some researchers argue that these animals use a mix of stimuli, such as sunlight, the Earth's magnetic field, and chemical cues, to find their way. Irrespective of the cues they used, the breathtaking nature, and raw beauty of animal migration, inspired us to make this video. Please enjoy. If you like this content, please feel free to subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to click the notification so you will get to know when we upload new content. Thank you very much for your support, now let's jump into our topic, Animal Migration. Migration is a behavioral pattern, in which animals travel from one habitat to another, in search of food, better conditions, or reproductive needs. There are two important factors that distinguish migration, from other types of animal movement. First, migration occurs seasonally, and second, migration involves a return journey. Thus, it differs from emigration, in which animals seek new, permanent habitats. Many animal species migrate, including fish species, crustaceans, amphibians, reptiles, insects, and mammals. These animals may travel by land, sea, or air. They often travel great distances, and in large numbers. Some animals, like the giant tortoise live their entire lives in one place. Others, like the monarch butterfly, and arctic tern, migrate. Animals have adapted to seasonal or geographic variations in order to migrate. Humans have impeded this process, by building roads across important migration routes, or eliminating or minimizing food sources, along the way. To counteract this people have put a lot of effort, which includes creating migration corridors, installing wildlife-friendly fencing, protecting breeding beaches, or building bridges or tunnels over roads, that are accessible only to animals. Seasonal migration is a life history strategy, by which animals exploit fluctuations in habitat suitability, by moving between distant regions at predictable times. Research on animal migration, has shown that suitable atmospheric conditions, resource availability, and predation risk affect the timing and characteristics of these journeys. Animals, that match their movements more precisely, to coincide with environmental patterns typically have higher survival and reproductive success. Environmental conditions, however, vary unpredictably over years, posing a challenge for migrants who must determine when and where to move. Sperm whales are one of the largest whales, and have the widest global distributions of any marine mammal species. Also, they have the largest brain of any creature known to have lived on Earth. They move throughout the ocean, sometimes traveling a million miles in their lifetimes. They don't follow any specific route, but swim the world's oceans throughout the course of their lives. Sperm whales are often found in groups, of some 15 to 20 animals. These groups include females and their calves. Males usually roam solo or move from group to group. Females range as far as the Arctic and the Antarctic but tend to migrate to the warmer waters, during the mating seasons to meet males. The Great Wildebeest Migration is probably the largest migration in the world. Every year, during the rainy season, 
more than 2 million animals like wildebeest, zebra, and gazelle, migrate in a clockwise direction, across Tanzania and Kenya. During each cycle, one out of six animals gets killed due to the actions of predators, thirst, or exhaustion. However, a half million new cats are also born in each cycle. In fact, it's not a single event, but rather a continuous 500-mile loop of migration, that never really ends. When migrating to feeding sites, salmon impressively cover distances of up to 1,000 miles in the ocean, and hundreds of kilometers in interior freshwaters. Even thousands of feet up mountain streams, they will climb on their way back to their nesting habitats. Although it may seem like a long journey, they make it because they are confident in their ability to mate with the appropriate species, and that specific river has a successful spawning history. It is believed that the main way in which the salmon navigate is by using the Earth's magnetic field as a compass. They use their sense of smell to get back to their spawning grounds as they reach close by. As young salmon flow toward the ocean, they pick up the fragrance of their home stream and may even memorize it at certain points, along the trip. The red crab seasonal migration across Australia's Christmas Island, is one of the most amazing migrations. Tens of millions of red crabs live on this isolated island, and each year as they migrate in large numbers to the ocean to lay their eggs. In this process, they turn the island into a huge moving red carpet. Christmas Island's roadways frequently have to be closed during seasons of peak migration, because the crabs have covered the ground. Recent research has revealed that the crab's tough journey is signaled by hormonal changes. It usually occurs in October or November, the first rain of the wet season. When considering the migration of birds, earlier studies have assumed that birds need to sleep for a certain amount of time, limiting their time to find food during long days. However, Recent studies have shown that birds can adjust their sleep, duration based on ecological demands. Also, previous studies have examined individual birds only over short periods, not the entire annual cycle in natural conditions. Approximately 4,000 different bird species regularly migrate. These trips, some of which are among the longest on the entire planet, are always made in search of either food sources or potential nesting sites. Each year, the small Arctic tern travels 55,923 miles in a zigzag pattern between the Arctic and the Antarctic, making it the longest migration in the world. The city sheer water deserves recognition for making an equivalent journey. Between New Zealand and China, Bar-tailed godwits make the longest non-stop flight of any bird covering 6,835 miles in 9 days. Penguins also migrate, occasionally as a result of climatic change. They should be congratulated for traveling over water and on foot, rather than by air. According to researchers utilizing monitoring devices, a daily penguins have the longest migrations, with one penguin traveling more than 10,936 kilometers. Even though dragonflies can migrate over great distances, no one knew how far they went until recently. However, in the year 2009, scientists found that dragonflies migrate from India to the Maldives, Seychelles, Mozambique, and Uganda. The route extends over a whopping 14,000 kilometers. Over broad ocean seas, one little species can fly 4,400 kilometers or more. Amazingly, the long migration involves four generations of dragonflies, with each generation participating in the journey, in a relay race-like fashion. It is without a doubt the longest insect migration ever found. 
From the monsoon season in India, through the rainy season in eastern and southern Africa, the dragonflies seem to follow the rains. The 3,000-mile annual migration of monarch butterflies is arguably the most colorful in all of nature. Monarchs have been tracked as far as 265 miles in a single day. Three to four generations are involved in the monarch migration, which occasionally crosses the Atlantic. Monarchs often migrate from northern regions of North America to Mexico or California around this time. As human population grow, people have spread out into every conceivable environment. More than 50% of the Earth's surface is currently modified by human activities, resulting in permanent damage to important migration routes. Structures such as wind farms, power lines, and offshore oil rigs are known for their impacts on migratory birds. Some spectacular migrants, like passenger pigeons have already disappeared. The challenges associated with protecting migrating species are enormous. Protecting the ability of animals to migrate, both in the immediate future and for generations to come, falls into our hands. If we ever ignore the problems related to wildlife habitats and their ecosystems, the penalty will soon come to face us, in a painful and inevitable way. Therefore, we have a role to take part in to protect these animals, and their behaviors. With saying that, we wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing, which means a lot to me. I love to see your thoughts in the comment section.